Victory Antipolo Kids Church Online for Preschool. My name is Teacher Kate. Thank you for joining us today. Ang bilis ng panahon, no? Alam nyo ba kung anong month na ngayon? Tama kayo! July na! And sakto, no, we're in a new month kasi we are starting a new series. But before that, meron akong itatanong sa inyo. Anong ginagawa mo kapag natatakot ka? A. Tatawagin si mommy or si daddy. B. Magtatago. Or C. Magiging brave. Thank you for answering, kids. Connected yung tanong na yan sa lesson natin today. Let's pray first. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and put our hands together. Dear Jesus, Thank you for loving us. Please help us to trust in you and your promises when we are afraid. In Jesus' name, Amen. And now, mag-praise dance muna tayo. Stand on your feet and let's dance!
Thank you, Teacher Kate, and thank you, Praise Dance Team. Hello, kids! My name is Teacher Jan, and today we will begin a new series entitled My Playlist. So, kids, ano nga ba ang playlist? Hmm. Ang playlist ay isang list kung saan namimili tayo ng mga songs at sinisave natin sa gadget natin like phones, tablet, or computer. And for this month, aarali natin ang list of songs ni David na isinulat niya sa Book of Psalms at kung bakit niya ito isinulat. Then, aarali natin kung paano natin may apply ang lesson sa buhay natin. Kanina, tinanong tayo ni Teacher Kate kung ano bang ginagawa natin kapag natatakot tayo. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay tungkol sa ginawang kanta ni David nung natatakot siya. Hmm... Ano ba yung ginawa niya nung time na yun? To know the answer, let's watch this video. King Akish, how may I be of service to you? What makes you think I would be needing your service? I am excellent in the battlefield, King Akish. Hmm... King Akish, isn't this David a king back in his own country? Don't they have a song about him? It goes, Saul has killed a thousand enemies, but David has killed ten thousand enemies. My king, I don't think this guy is someone we can trust. I'd say we kill him. We already have him in our hands. Oh no, I'm dead. These guys are going to kill me. chase me all day they're out to kill and slay oh my god i put my trust in you although i am afraid i'll hold on to what you say i'll keep on trusting you Keep on trusting you I'll keep on trusting you Your promise 
promises are true My fear is gone And the tears are done No one can harm me You are beside me Thank you, Lord I have to think of something fast. What? Look at him. This guy looks like a crazy person. Why did you bring him to me? I have enough crazy people already. Hmm. Wow! That was a great story, kids. When David was afraid, he wrote Psalm 56, and it says, God, be merciful to me, because people are chasing me. The battle has pressed me all day long. My enemies has chased me all day. There are many of them fighting me. When I am afraid, I will trust you. I Praise God for His Word, so I am not afraid. What can human being do to me? Nung natakot si David, pumunta siya kay God, and sinabi niya lahat ng problema niya, and he decided to trust Him. And after that, naalala niya yung mga promise ni God sa kanya. Kasama na doon yung pagiging hari niya sa Israel, one day. And after that, nag-increase yung faith ni David kay God. After that, God saved David from King Achish and from all of his enemies until David became king of Israel. Kids, hindi man pareho ng problema ni David ang problema natin, but nakakaramdam din naman tayo ng takot. Pwede natatakot tayo sa certain animals or sa darkness or needles or sa iba-ibang mga bagay. But remember, if we put our trust in God, mawawala yung fears natin because we know that He has a plan for us and a purpose in our lives. In Matthew 28, Jesus promises His followers that He will be with us always until the end of the age. Ibig sabihin, kahit saan man tayo magpunta, kasama natin si Jesus Kaya, wala tayong dapat ikatakot. The question is, are you a follower of Jesus? If you want to have a relationship in Jesus and you want Him in your life, I invite you to pray with me. Lord, thank you for your love. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. Lord, ask you, Lord, to help us to change our life. Lord, we surrender our life to your authority as our Lord and Savior. Lord, help us to obey your word and to apply it in our life. Lord, we will not be afraid again because we know that you are with us. Thank you, Lord. We lift up all the things to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, let me call on Teacher Sophia to help us in our craft for today. See you next week. Hi kids! I'm Teacher Sophia. Excited na ba kayo sa crafts natin? Today, we are going to be making a flashlight. You will be needing any board paper, black paper, any clear transparent plastic. I am using a notebook cover, scissors, a permanent black marker, or any color marker that cannot be seen on black paper. Okay kids, remember when handling sharp objects like scissors, always ask help from your parents or guardians. Let's start! First, we are going to draw a flashlight. I have one drawn here. Next, we are going to cut it. 
ask your parent or guardian for help in this step. Okay kids, now that I have my flashlight, I'm going to draw on this beam. So now I have a beam of light and I'm also going to cut that out. So now I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm going to tape it down just like that. So now we have our flashlight with the light on. So this is a very important step. Here is what you have to do. You can color your flashlight in any colors that you like. But, do not color your beam. Again, color your flashlight but do not color the beam. our transparent plastic and we are going to draw a scene. You can draw anything you like. You can even write your name. the reason why we made the flashlight today it is because whenever we are in the dark or we feel scared we can use the flashlight and it will light our way and make us feel safer pero alam niyo ba kids it's not the flashlight that makes us feel safe it's the light of god thank you kids for joining our crafts today let me pass you on to Teacher Kate for a Power Truth and Power Verse. See you kids next week. Bye! Thank you, Teacher Sophia. Hi, kids! We hope you enjoy ninyo ang ating crafts time and ang time natin to study the Word of God. Ngayon naman, ituturo ko sa inyo ang bagong Power Truth natin. I will trust God all times. Let's do it together. I will trust God at all times. Very good! Ito naman ang ating power verse. Trust in Him at all times. You people, pour out your hearts to Him for God is our refuge. Psalm chapter 62 verse 8. So kids, we pray that starting today and for the rest of your lives, you will trust God at all times because we know that God is our refuge. Let's pray. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and put our hands together. Lord, thank you for melting our fears away. I trust that you are in control of everything. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Yay! Thank you for joining us today, kids. See you again next week. Bye!